Hello guys, uh, greetings to each and every one of you and uh, this is the virtual laboratory for kinematics and dynamics laboratory for our autonomous grid. Uh, currently at this COVID-19 situation, uh, we were into an online mode of teaching. Uh, part of that, this is our laboratory module. We have covered with eight, eight experiments of which I have supposed to handle this dynamics analysis of four bar mechanism, balancing of multiple mass in single plane, balancing of multiple mass in the multiple planes and disc type flywheel. Uh, disc type flywheel which was not available in our syllabus but still we are due to this COVID-19 uh, and the uh, norms prescribed by the Anna University to use this virtual laboratory contents. I felt that a disc type flywheel might be useful for you when going for a higher level examinations and particularly on your theoretical papers and areas. Okay, so that is why I chose a disc type flywheel. And let me start with dynamics analysis of four bar mechanism. Before getting into that, I will share the link for getting the access over this laboratory. Um, after then, you can follow the procedure through the list of experiment that is available from the see here this is the page you can open with that you can it is available with dynamics of machines lab new which was uh, supposed to be given by the nit karnataka is the hosting institute for this particular laboratory and if you opening dynamics of machines lab we might have the list of experiments so introduction is there what is lab and what we are going to see and everything will be there and we have to move with the list of experiments of which first four experiments will be covered by our professor dr balasubramani and i will be supposed to care of five to eight experiments and dynamics analysis of four bar mechanism after getting into that we might have the screen of the aim theory for the particular experiment we are having a pre-test to attend this experiment as well as the procedure to do how the simulation has after that we are having one post test for the particular experiment of the session okay so we one by one model we have to cover this is the aim the ultimate aim or the purpose of this particular experiment is to understanding the analysis involved in the offset analysis acceleration of center of gravity of the links forces on each link of four bar mechanism with the help of position diagram velocity and acceleration diagram so here is the theory part you can look at this theory in the kinematics of machinery subjects itself we could have covered this but still after this we'll be having one pre-test attending this pre-test giving you the knowledge level and idea of uh, uh, getting through the process and the experiments that we are going with right for example look at here a kinematic chain is known as a mechanism when when one of the link is fixed three of the link is fixed two of the link is fixed of course one of the link should be fixed for the kinematic chain unless otherwise that is not going to be a chain if two chains were fixed it is again a kinematic mechanism kinematic but not a chain it is a mechanism if the three of the link is fixed which remains like a structure we cannot move with that so this is the uh, answer for particular question and we have to attend likewise all the questions and to submit the quiz uh, we'll get the answer for that particular okay then one out of five is correct that is why i have attended only one question so likewise you have to attend all these type questions all these questions and uh, We'll move on to the simulation procedure area. You will be having a, will getting an idea of what is the procedure and how to use this laboratory. This is the uh, page that combo box will be open. This is the combo box open. After this pop up menu, we'll be having the variables column within which we have to adjust the radii of every links. For the adjustments of these links as well as the angle between the link one and two we can adjust for that next we are having the navigate button to move on to the next pages based on the given values and the references the structure or the kinematic position diagrams will get changes almost 
similar way we have to check the uh, given the value for the various masses and theta to value again we can adjust that at last we can uh, play and uh, determine what is the uh, final inertial force that is acting on every link that is acceleration diagram and the velocity diagram that we used to draw in an analytical method this is a graphical way of drawing the same okay yes okay let me start with the simulation so this is the simulation bar initially for the given values there is a knob will be given for every variables we can adjust that knob okay so i am not going to change any of these values for each and every values there is a change in diagram i can pause at any point of time if i am pausing here at a different angle at a different position i will get a different type of this uh, velocity and acceleration diagram here so what is the length of this various link and what is the theta value between the different links and everything will be available here okay we'll move to the next page where the masses of each links m2 m3 and m4 has been given and it is 90 degree now at present it is a 90 degree i can adjust this knob to any degree like 40 degree i can kept or more than 90 which is 100 degree i can kept and i can play the same so that i can know what is the change in velocity and acceleration at every point next is the torque value that we need to adjust so all the four links will be remains in four different colors likewise as well as the diagram of this acceleration diagram and velocity diagram has been reduced in the scales which is Acceleration is enlarged in 1 is to 2, whereas velocity and scale diagram taken as it is. Okay. So, after then, torque 4. What is the uh, link 4? Torque of the link 4 is, has to be adjusted. They are determined at the various position and various angles. Okay. So, from this, we can have the experiment. Which experiment we have to done with? Okay let me choose this experiment on acceleration or experiment on force after that starting this experiment we will be having a forces on the link 3 and forces of the link 4 and select the torque from this values okay so uh, with that we have to determine what is the value of x and what is the value of y here okay so before getting into that force f12 that we have to adjust adjusting this force value on a different range and we have to uh, determine the value of force and to check with that and to stop this experiment exiting this experiment likewise we have to choose the experiment on this dynamic analysis of four bar mechanism then with the simulation sorry after this we will be having one post test for this post test again there will be some point of questions which is available we can work out all the questions and to answering uh, answering the questions on this uh, particular area so this is the uh, this is what actually the dynamic analysis of four bar mechanism that has been done in the virtual lab method and virtual lab model okay and try to answer all these post test questions okay and and thank you everyone uh, for making your time till thank you